Come out with us and play Love Your London Have a banana in today's episode of Love Your London, we visit two iconic markets, both adjacent to one another, Tooting Market and Broadway Market. We speak to a number of stallholders and uncover a scandal showing how black market traders were recently unfairly targeted by the police. Why do I decide to sit down on the floor of the Castle Pub? That's a bit weird, isn't it? And why is there a big white tent in the garden? Let's find out, shall we? So. Welcome back to episode number four on Ballam. Well, this is not really Ballam, of course. This is Tooting Broadway. We've, uh, in the last episode, um, do check it out if you haven't done so already, we discovered the delights of Upper Tooting Road. In this episode, well, we're still on the A24, the, the old Roman road known as Stain Street. This road, the A24, turns into Tooting High Street. Tooting High Street, we've got markets. Two markets. This is another one of Sadiq Khan's favourite restaurants. Check out those tiles. I oh, lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Behind this restaurant is Tooting Market. There's two markets, Tooting Market. There are two entrances. There's one entrance here and there's one entrance over there. We're going to use a side entrance here on Totterdown Street. We're going to check out some of the amazing shops and restaurants in this place. We have some street art here opposite look at tooting market not beautiful <laughs> open every day monday to thursday 8 a.m till 6 p.m saturdays 8 a.m till 6 30 and sunday 10 till 4. alice in wonderland with her smartphone i gotta film this okay now oh, she's looking through the looking glass isn't she at the fly agaric This is the secret bar. It's not really that secret, obviously, because it's here on the street. Hey? Yes, uh, well, yes, you, you, that's uh, the whole point. That's the whole point. They're, they're, you can actually pay them a pound, uh, and then, uh, and then uh, if the wife calls, uh, there's is various. Does it work for the wives or does it work for men too? <laughs> One pound. Nope, not here. Two pounds. Just missed him. Three pounds. Hand the, had the one and left. Four pounds. Not being in all day. And five pounds. Who? Portuguese. You were pure Portuguese. Yeah. Ah, uh, this is a Portuguese bar. That's yes, awesome. it's a Portuguese bar, and uh, I, I love. Where are you from Portugal? From yes. Itself? We went. We were in Lisbon in 2017. We absolutely loved it. It's beautiful. And we loved uh, Orei do Frango, the Ooh. restaurant there. Oh, the the best. Chi the best chicken. Bom Jardin. Bom Jardin. There, the best restaurant. Is that better than Bom Jardin? No. no. It's different meat. Different stuff. Different meat. Yeah. But. but there is good as well. Well, it's good. So, so you, you own the secret bar or it's both owned by the same people? Oh, they're both owned by the same person. Um, Mina. Okay. Mina. We might have to try some food there. And, we'll, and then we'll go and have a super bok over here. Yep. Remind us of our holiday in Lisbon in, a few exactly. years ago. What was your name? <laughs> Rui. 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 Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Muy obrigado. <laughs> Muy obrigado. Okay. Well, look at this. this is a, what an amazing introduction yeah. to the place. Gosh, it's as hot as Portugal yes. in here. Yes, it is. It's, it's and here we are. So we have, we have the secret bar. Where they, and, and it's only £3.50. This is Mino's shop. Portuguese restaurant. Oh, I'm just so stuffed. I really do fancy some chicken. A quarter of a chicken, seven seventy-five. Half a chicken, nine seventy-five. Oh, the only way is up, baby, for you and me now. The only way is up. These are two pounds each. Ah, Gregory Abbott, shake you down. Bing Crosby live at the live at the London Palladium. Hits of the 30s. We'll soon be in the 2030s, won't we? Benny Goodman. Ah, now there is a good record. Coming out by the Manhattan transfer. The thing is, in the old days, you used to get absolute bargains. 
But now with the advent of websites like Discogs, it's quite hard to find in a, re in a record shop. You can occasionally still find them in, in boot fairs and stuff like that. But they know what everything... Ah, oh, oh, hang on. Crystal Palace fan alert. Dave Clark 5. But... No glad all over. This is Candy Cane Lounge. Candy Cane Lounge. And this is Dr. Vinyl. This is Dr. Vinyl here? Yeah. Oh, right, okay. Yes. Dr. Vinyl used to be in the shop, in the market, yeah. about a year and a half ago, closed. Yeah. And we've just managed to get hold of the shop next door. So we've got it, but we've only had it for about a month. So what sort of things are you looking for? Are you, is it uh, sort of 60s garage and stuff like that? Psychedelic psych garage? Right, a lot, an awful lot wasn't done on LP. It's all 45. Yeah. Okay, and yes, I do. I mean, I have one of the rare singles at the moment. I've got the uh, Black Sheep by VIP by the Australian Playboys. Yeah, I've got that. I've got the end. Right. Uh, Shades of Orange. I've got. Um, actually, I've got a few bits on on the Sixes Garage. Okay. So I could earlier, but but that's not all here. That's all here. Okay. Okay. Um, the LPs they did do reissue LPs. Yes. And we haven't got a lot in stock of like the Nuggets box that they came Oh yeah, out. Nuggets. You know and the, the beat bespokey ones. You know, we've got them. The bespokes. I found most of that stuff. Rob Bailey, yeah, going back in the 90s when I had my shop vinyl frontier. I'm looking for a volume one as in particular on, on vinyl. I, I don't know if I've got a volume one in stock, but Rob Bailey should have one because Rob Bailey used to come down to my shop, yeah, in the 90s and he used to spend hours with me going through the A's and B sides, finding all the new sounds, yeah, because there was nothing new coming out. So we yeah. found Chopper um, on Decker come out of our shop, the second set come out of our shop. So, uh, it's, it's just the problem with psychedelia is at the moment, it's going through the roof. Yeah. We've even got uh, Pink Floyd, Columbia demos and stuff. Right. So, we've got the gear. Yeah, just um, if, this was, but if you ask specifically, I might be able to source it for you. Okay. All right. Let's have a quick... Let's going to have a little quick look in there. Rock Frog. Oh, Quintessence. Look at that. Quintessence. Do you know Quintessence? Um, Roger Ram, the, from, from Swangle. He was part of Quintessence. He used to play the flute. Ah, I love him. Mark Bolan and T-Rex. Now in the, in the next episode it's going to be on Barking, but after that we're going to Barnes. And we're going to be visiting the place where, uh, where Mark Bolan sadly lost his life. We're going to, there's a little shrine there. We're going to go there, maybe bring a photo or something and leave some sweets for him. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of a little bit of a puja there, maybe. Um, oh, I could spend hours here, but if I if I do that, we'll also end up eating about 800 calories worth of candy. Oh, right. Just brush your teeth. I could spend so long here. There's your little fellows with singles. Yeah. Well, this this is the more upmarket of the two markets. The other market, Tooting Broadway. It's quite different, a lot more sort of like tatty stuff. Yeah, this is it, they're, they're being edgy. Yes. But then it's diverse, which is what I want to see. Oh wow, oh wow. Oh wow. Oh, oh look at this little. That's a little like an Embira. Well, it is. That's exactly what it is. This is an Embira. It's slightly different though, isn't it? It has a recipe. Wow, what an amazing place. Wow. Yeah, you had to get in here, man. Where is 
Yeah, this is amazing. Uh, you, better, you can only be careful in here walking around. Yeah, you gotta be careful with your bag behind you. Yeah, be careful. Yeah, I'm just gonna put mine down actually because I don't. I'm, That's I'm not the safest thing. I'm gonna give you my little vlog. Do you, do you mind? Oh, it's yeah, our, watch out. We're doing a little vlog about the markets. Uh, a vlog. A vlog. A vlog on, on YouTube. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Do you mind? Do you mind? Do you want being on a camera? Yeah. Go on. Oh, what was your name? Oh, oh, you want to get me on the yeah? thing? Okay, yeah, Ernest. Ernest. Where, how on earth did you find all these amazing treasures? Um, private collection, auctions, special markets, oh. um, spirits. And what's your favourite piece? Ooh, that's very difficult. <laughs> what's the, what's the piece that you'd be really disappointed if someone bought because you you you, you want to you really like looking at it? There's two. What Benin bronze head up there on the shelf? Yeah, um, the Benin bronze. You left. The red one, this one here. Yeah, no, up, up right on the top shelf on your left. Oh yeah. The very top shelf on the left. Yeah. I can't see. Where? I don't see the head. No, no, the left, the direct left there. Yeah, that's it. You're facing the wall. This one up there. Okay, I still can't see. Oh, there. Oh, with right. the, with the, yeah. the leopard. You got the leopard and then the the, the, the queen. The, the queen. Yeah. The, yeah. The, 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 left bed in. Yeah. Well, they look like they're, they're, they're done that they're way. They're my kind of favourite, yeah. yeah. So, if, so if someone were to buy them, you'd be quite sad to see them go. Yeah, I don't think I'll even sell them, actually. There's one That's down great. here. Yeah, there's one down there, too. But I've overgrown the market. I've got to clear out a little bit. And, 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 and you got, where's the most of, like... Yeah, they, is it mainly from, from, from Western Africa, or...? Yeah, I think... Uh, yeah, yeah, just... just that's, that's, that's Africa, that's, yeah. It's absolutely amazing. You can't get that easily on the air. Wow. It's got some years on it too. Yeah, it's actually an old piece, original. Yeah. Uh, definitely a few grand. Uh, yeah. What's the most expensive piece here? Was that? It's a, it's a bit difficult, really, because um, I don't know myself. <laughs> right. Okay. But but those two heads there would probably be uh, quite a lot of money. Those those two heads there. Yeah. They would probably be. Several thousands? Uh, yeah. If they're, if they're anything near what they look like, half a million. Those two heads there, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's why you have to be careful. You have to lock this place up at night. Um, I'd worry about it. Well, they, they can shut the whole place down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because this is a really, this one and that one and this one. They, I bought something very similar to that in Zimbabwe. Uh, I was, I was. I, I think I, I don't think this is. Um, I think it's more. Um, it's more Colombian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Y
Yeah, what about we're, uh, we're, we're doing a, 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 on YouTube, a YouTube about the, about the markets. Oh, okay. Yeah, so just so, so in, in next month, uh, this will appear in, in, on our channel. Okay. Cool. Is it £3.50 a pint? £3.50. We'll have two pints, please, of Bok, of Super Bok. Super Bok. Hang on. Oh, where did it go? <coughs> zebra fish, Brian. They've got zebra fish. Oh, there she goes. The Zebra Daniel, they're native to the Ganga River in India. The Shboa 28 tram, a very picturesque route. Well, this is wonderful, so a pint of Superbok, £3.50, and that's all day from 12 midday to 11 at night, every day of the week. That is fantastic. I mean, that's really good value. Um, £3.50. Can't really get over it, really. And it's a really nice, beautiful restaurant. All the Portuguese food from the restaurant opposite and eat it here. Fantastic prices. So come to Tooting and enjoy the Super Bok. And now we're going to another market. The next market we're going to is called Tooting Broadway. It's been there since 1936. Uh, I, I guess you could say it's slightly more down market. That's not to say that it's um, it's not a great market. In fact, I think it's more fun. It's, it's more real. Uh, but it's a little bit tatty in places, but that's part of its charm. Now, what I am a little bit worried about is there are plans to build a market above it called the Sky Market. And that's going to be very posh. It's going to have creches and performance spaces uh, I've seen this sort of thing happen in Borough Market and Camden Market and places like that. Um, now they do promise that they're not going to change the market downstairs. They're not going to touch any of the stores. They're going to keep it as it is. But I know that once that market becomes more upmarket above them, they'll probably end up pushing the rent prices up. And a lot of the small stalls, as has happened in Camden, probably won't be able to afford to uh, carry on renting their space because uh, the prices will go sky high because of the sky market. Let's hope I'm wrong. Let's hope that maybe uh, the sky market does not affect the market downstairs. Uh, but let's go and check that out now. Uh, there's another record shop there as well called Music Specialists. Uh, they specialise more in re reggae and ska. In fact, reggae is very important to Tooting, as we'll find out uh, later on. Front of Tooting Market. I, I got that on camera actually if you want it. I got that in camera if you want to, if you want that on no, at all. Just needs a roast in there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah that was bad, isn't it? Do you see that? That lady just reversing into the road and, and almost ran this man's kids over. Okay, so here we are at Tooting Market and Broadway Market. As you can see, both markets very close. This one 1930, this one 1936. This is, though, the much older seeming market because it hasn't been refurbished in the same way that Tooting Market has been refurbished. I really quite like it. I really also love the old Market Broadway sign over there. Yes, there you go. God save the Queen. Of course, it was a platinum jubilee just earlier this month. Shades of Brickley. So I said this market is a little bit more down market, but it's also a little bit more fun. Okay, here we go, in we go. Oh, has this changed already? This has become more gentrified than last time I was here. 
It's already becoming a little bit more gentrified. I'm talking over this because of the music, because otherwise that stops the copyright infringement issue from happening. Uh, we have Brooklyn's Diner, Beirut's Lebanese Street Food, as it should be. Uh, here we have a textile store. Fish, fresh and frozen fish from around the world. There we go, they got shark. <laughs> ah, Tokova. Well, this is one of the places that we were going to eat in. That's uh, one of the places we we're going to eat in. It's a Basque restaurant. A taste of the Basque country. But it doesn't open until later, it appears. So I suppose we've saved a bit of money there. Yeah? What's that? That's a budgie. It's a seahorse. <coughs> Whoa. Calico dragon. Is that real? That's amazing. Sea dragon. Oh, wow. Look at this, flapping its wings. $8.99. What? No, that's what, that would be the, the beta, and I don't see any in there. You've got calico, or those are the little goldfish. That's a goldfish type. Eight on nine each. The Siamese are not, the beta are not there. There are not, right. there. not, not one in there at the moment. Beta splendens. I wonder how much the uh, seahorse is. Ooh, what is it, the sea dragon? Cool. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I mean, how much is your sea dragon? Oh, it's okay, let me explain. Okay. I do, we're you. just, uh, we're doing a vlog. We're doing a vlog, so. No way. Yes. Oh my gosh. It's plastic. It's a beaut. So it's on a bit of fishing line. It actually moves because there's a filter in it. Yeah, clever. So everyone thinks it's real. You can't really see the fishing no. line either. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. Oh no, it's going to give you half of it. That? Mm, that's really nice. Yes. So from Brazil. Yeah, Brazil. 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 Mm. Anyway, so as I said, um, they're going to be building a big roof up here uh, called the Sky Market. Uh, it's going to completely change, I think. Well, I suppose, I suppose, no, it won't. It'll, it'll just be a, a roof. Uh, this place will hipster up easily. It will, and the, and the rents it's will probably... the way to hipster as it is. And the rents will probably um, increase considerably well, when that happens. By four times. They do promise that that's not going to be the case. In the first uh, six months. In the, yeah. <laughs> but you never know. I mean, I, I, I bet that poor Omar, Omar with a taste of Niger, I'm sure her prices will go up. The rent prices when they build that new market upstairs. I hope not. I know. This is music specialist. I'm going to have to speak over this so that it doesn't affect the copyright. But this is one of the uh, very important places to do with reggae, ska, soul. Now, in the next episode, we're going to be showing why reggae is so important to this area. Dude, I'm loving this. I wear this. Yeah? I could definitely wear something like this. If they have it in my size. Because I need some... Yeah, I need some summer damn clothes. I can so cut it for you. Yeah. You can. Yeah. You can cut. Yeah, of course, I can cut it. Then. It's just a matter of whether it will fit here. It will fit. It's a stretch. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How much is it? The suit is eighty pounds. How much? Eighty pounds. Eighty. Eighty. Yes, 80. Okay. Yeah. We can. We have to. We're yeah. going to be coming back for. Okay. Yeah, we're yeah, just we're, we're, we're filming today. Yeah, filming today. Yeah, you can Excellent. wear this with different t-shirt or different top. You can wear this with your jeans. You see? Yeah. 
No, it's nice. I like it. It's all up markets. What have they done? Oh, this used to be quite grimy. Thank you. Yeah. Look, the few food hygiene ratings are five. There never used to be five here. Two, if you're lucky. Well, they didn't even have food ratings. There's no way they would have passed any ratings. Yeah. Oh, this is bad. Sea Garden. What's Sea Garden? Sea Garden cocktails. You can get in this store, like stick your camera in there. Wow, there's a lot of things in your store. I'm waiting patiently for you to keep this beautiful smile permanent eh? on your face. Hi there. <laughs> I'm I'm bring him back. I said I've been working to keep your beautiful smile permanent on your face. Thank please. you. <laughs> Hi, my name's Tristan. I'll give you a few our card. We're doing a, right. a vlog about the market. Have you got a card, darling? Yes, what, what do you do, darling? I just, we're just, we're just talking YouTube. to YouTube. people. YouTuber. Yeah, YouTuber. Yeah. That's a big one. It would have been like on the other side. So yeah, it's called Love Your London. Oh, I love this. Uh, we, we want more places like this. Yeah. Because this, this market has changed. It's lost it a lot of its characters. It's now gentrified. Exactly. And you're, right. you're one of the last sort of like remaining yeah. Yeah. markets. I'm trying to keep everyone, all the souls together. Uh, <laughs> what's your name? Femi. Fe Femi. 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 Yeah, Femi. but uh, my stage name is Divine. Femi Divine. Yeah, yeah. Anyone you remember. Femi Divine. And they're going to be building that sky market upstairs, yeah. aren't they? That's yeah. going to completely change the yeah, area, I think. They'll be able to put things out here like this. That is the whole idea. Where, where I'm on the list to get a stand, a stand today. Oh, okay, so they're going to give you a bigger place. Yeah, yeah. Ho but hopefully your rents won't get bigger as well. Uh, it's not even good. <laughs> it's already gone up. As it's already speak. gone up. Yeah. How do the rents compare? 1,600 now for this month. Shop. For how long? A month. Per month. 1,600 a month. Yep. And what did it used to be five years ago? <laughs> I don't, uh, maybe 1,000 or right. less. Yeah. Because <laughs> I sing as well. You sing? Oh, yeah. We do duets then. Yes. Do duets? Do duets or duets? A duet? No, no, no. no. Oh, she asked, she asked. No, no. We've no. got five uh, Let me see. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm I need to go. I'm scared now. I'm scared now. Guess what I went to see yesterday? Mad from Butterfly. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Do you mind being on camera? So we're doing a vlog. We're doing a YouTube sort of thing. Do you mind? If, do you mind being on camera? What's it for? It's called Love Your London. It's about the market. Oh. Yeah. What's your name? Grace. Grace. Lovely to meet you. And do you come to the market a lot? This is your place, is it? Uh, no, I'm waiting for him to come back. Oh, okay. He's gone to the loo. Okay. I'm sure he doesn't need to know that on camera. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> this market's changed, has not it? It's like it's amazing. But it's changed like it used to be like more shops like this yeah. and now it's very gentrified. Yeah, but they did it on purpose. They kicked out the, the, the Jamaicans who were here. Yeah. Intentionally. And this was um, during Covid. Yeah. It was shocking to be fine. Really? Yeah. And um, yeah, it was quite heartbreaking. I mean they kicked them out how? Like, like by raising their rents or? Well, no, well, not the, one day they had the police come in and raid, accusing them of selling drugs. And um, one of them actually is still here. Um, he tried to get rid of him. And uh, he had done nothing wrong. But it was the people, the power of the people, the voice of the people that, you know, had killed. So, so they could bring in more expensive places. Yeah, exactly. That is it's disgusting. Yeah, it's really a shame. Is it in the papers or is there like... Um, it was all over YouTube. Right, it now it will um, be on YouTube what's again. That, what's that? Yeah. On we obviously had to fact check this and it truly is a shocking story. Basically, on the 5th of September 2020, two Jamaican owned businesses were targeted by police on the presumed pretext that they were dealing cannabis. The footage that you are seeing here is from an interview by Donna Spence, filmed a couple of days later and there is a link in the description below. Plus, at the end of this video there will be a button so that you can watch her original video.
This chap on your screen is Huey Crawford, who had been running Arts Designer Wear for almost nine years. Huey used cannabis to treat his cancer, and when the police raided his stall, he had such a small amount on him that the sniffer dogs couldn't even find it, and he voluntarily gave it to them. As for Christopher Smith, a.k.a. the lone fisherman, the other stall holder who was targeted, absolutely nothing was found, and the police later admitted that their intelligence was wrong, took down a tweet that they had posted, and apologised. Now, neither of them have any issue with the way the police behaved, though the fact that this happened on Black Pound Day was extremely poor timing from their part, but that is by the by. The police were acting on what turned out to be banded intelligence. It happens. The big issue that the stallholders have, as indeed did the whole community have, is with the tooting market management, because they gave them just three days to pack up their stall as soon as they were informed of the raid, and before any evidence or convictions were made. Three days. The community is saying that they saw this as a great opportunity to replace the stall with yet another trendy cocktail bar and yet another way of chipping away at the wonderful multicultural Caribbean flavour that has made both tooting markets so special for generations. Kudos must be given to the local MP, Dr. Rosena Alin Khan, who mediated between the market traders, the market management and the police, and got the eviction notice for the lone fisherman rescinded. Tooting Market issued a grovelling apology for acting so hastily, and the lone fisherman is still selling fish today. Unfortunately, Huey Crawford has had enough and has made his clothes shop exclusively online at artsdesignerware.co.uk. And who can blame him? OK, so we are outside the legendary castle. The castle established 1832. Now, this pub <coughs> is very well known for lovers of music. Some legendary concerts have taken part, to, uh, taken place in here. Let's go inside and have a quick look. So, yes, so this is a, this pub is quite legendary in that it is here where, uh, well, the Groundhogs used to play here all the time in the 1970s uh, and the late 60s. Uh, but what this pub is probably most famous for is this is the place where status quo on the 10th of april 1970 um, were playing their usual rock music and uh, everyone started sitting on the floor with the vinyls under their arms um, and their heads bopping up and down they weren't rocking out they were sitting down on the floor like this and they were watching like that and Rick Parfit was up there on stage looking down at them at all these heads bobbing up and down. And that's when he realised that they were a headband. Um, they were no longer playing to rockers, they were playing to a bunch of heads. And it was from that night onwards, on the 10th of April 1970, that status quo, because they started copying the heads bobbing up and down. So, you know, they go, whatever you want. Well, no, no, and, they, and they started bobbing left and right as well, like in, in tune to all the heads on the floor bobbing up and down. And it happened in this pub. Uh, I don't know exactly where the stage was. It's a very big pub, as you can see. I'm talking all over this so that it keeps all the music that you can hear in the background as in the background. Oh, this is, looks like... Let's, let's go out here, let's go... There we go. Now. Yeah, look at this. They built sleds. Yes. Now. Over there, as you can see, just over there, there's a big white tent. And up here it says, the Big London Bake. Now, as you can see, there's people baking with mixers and stuff. What's going on there? Well, basically, this has nothing to do with the Great British Bake Off. I do have to point that out. They pointed out quite clearly on the website. It's just a coincidence that it's a baking competition thing um, with a big white tent. Um, but, and of course, you know, there's no copyright on that sort of thing. Um, but this is the Big London Bake. Now, there are three of these in the UK. This is the Big London Bake South. Then there's one in the east of London, or sort of northeast of London, in Haggerston. Uh, if it's still around when we get to D for Dalston, we'll, we'll uh, maybe pay it a visit. And then there's another one in Birmingham. We're here at the Big London Bake South. 
on Teasing High Street and we run 90 minute fun baking sessions for everybody, no experience needed. All you have to do is book your tickets online and just go to thebiglondonbake.com. You can uh, learn how to cook, uh, you can go with maybe your work colleagues um, or you can um, go maybe with your hen night party or your stag night party and you all together learn how to cook and compete against one another and learn something at the same time. It's a fantastic idea. Um, so that's the end of this episode. Uh, we have covered Tooting Market and Tooting Broadway, as in Tooting Broadway the market, not Tooting Broadway the station. Tooting Broadway the station is over there. And that we're saving for the next episode. Uh, because in the next episode we're going to be going to talk about Tooting Broadway, we're going to be talking about the little statue in front of it, we're going to be talking about um, a very well known TV series. Um, uh, which uh, will be familiar to you, to some of the older among you. And then we're going to be sort of making our way down towards Tooting Railway Station and finding a few very interesting places along the way. So join us next time. So, till next time. Bye! Oh, and it should be a good one. In the next episode, as well as talking about the station, as I just said, we'll also be visiting a stunning old Grade 1 listed cinema, which is now a bingo hall, of course. Plus, we'll visit one of the most important landmarks in London's reggae history, have a proper pint of Guinness, and much, much more. Till next time. From Acton Town to Wimbledon, from Brixton to beyond, love your London. Have a banana.